and welcome ladies and gentlemen james out west february 18th 2021 what's Call up me. dude dude how you doing i'm bored yeah uh, sunday was was rough this was a rough weekend as you can see when you guys walked in earlier uh i was i've been re-watching duck dynasty I mean, that's where we're at right now i've been binging yellowstone we're going Bad through boy. every Bad boy. I love it. I can't, but yeah, it's there's there were so many different things and different memes just about people missing Sunday football. Oh my gosh! Oh but, my gosh! But there's still with, some news. I'll say, with that being said, the football season's never over. Right. There's a lot of uh, great little nuggets of NFL news uh, today. The blockbuster. Trade today, Carson Wentz going to the Indianapolis Colts. So they gave him a third and a conditional second. Yep, that second can turn into a first. 2022. If he plays more than 70% of the snaps. What do you think about that? I think that's worth the, worth the risk. Giving up a Colts, third round draft. Colts pick. needed a quarterback. Colts, Colts need a quarterback. He's young. He played for Frank Wright when Frank was over there. But you're taking over that contract. They're used to paying quarterbacks a lot of money they paid Andrew Luck a lot of money when Andrew Luck retired they played Jacoby Brissett decent money but still over 15 million then they brought in uh they didn't old, want to keep Manning old, old Philippe Reavers oh my God. and yeah and they paid him so yeah why not they're smart with their cap money and if you have a team that's built that team is built for success it's, and built for in four playoff runs they just need a quarterback if you're Carson Wentz you have to be stoked that that's where you ended up Absolutely. That's that was a destination for a lot of people. So to come up and and Carson Wentz to go there, hey. So we'll see. Good for him. We'll see. So I think the other and maybe even bigger news is uh, JJ Watt. Yeah, asking for his release. Got Team it. Releasing him. Uh, him being a free agent right now. What? You think he's gonna go to you guys? I've heard. I've heard you guys. I've heard the Cardinals. Cardinals ain't happen just because D Hop. Just because him. stop. Just, just because, because D Hop put a picture on Instagram. Let's finish what we started, bro. Nah. Like Uncle Sai says on, on, on Doug Dynasty. No, nah, Jack. But they. He's not gonna go. If he goes anywhere in the NFC, it will be Green Bay. Or Tampa Bay. Nah. Money. He dude. He's no, not, he wants to he win. Said, he said two things. He well, wants either team. That says he either wants. One or a he says he wants money. Yeah. And a team that has a chance to win the Super Bowl with a good quarterback. That's what he stated. Okay? He wants to catch one more touchdown. So, as a I think the point is just he knows that the offense is going to be able to carry. Uh, dude, he, he deserves be, everything. He's on the tail end. He's got, what, maybe three, four years left? Yeah, four. So, uh, he deserves it. Buffalo is in that mix. I heard about yeah. Buffalo being in that mix. Green Bay. Yeah. Now, not that anybody has said it, but I've heard other – but Not he also wants to go play with his it. brothers. No, 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 no. He doesn't. Who did you hear him say that? Did he say he yeah, wants he, to play he, with his brothers? He quoted that. No. Or, or, or somebody quoted on that that No. Nah. Yes. No. Nah. Okay, okay. Go online and look and see what the odds are for who's going to get him. If there was any traction on him going to Pittsburgh, it wouldn't be like a my, uh uh Oh, yeah, that's it's definitely lower. I don't think he's going he's there, going but to they don't have a quarterback. Their team's in shambles. They don't have enough money to pay Ben Roethlisberger if he stays on the team right now. I don't care. It's the freaking Steelers anyways. Thank you very much. All right, let's move forward. So, all right. So, there's been quite a bit with everything this year. Cap going up. Yeah. At least 180, 180. So, it's at least $5 million more. Could go up to 190 or 175 yep. right? Uh, Von Miller, he's got an $18 million contract uh, uh, hit coming basically this year. So... They can cut him and not owe him that. And that's coming up by like March 8th, I think. There's so, going to be a lot of moves this year. So and he could be gone, traded or released. Um, they're going to add a 17th game to this season. And nobody knows who's playing who in that 17th game yet. Because right now, we know who's playing who and where. We just don't know when. So we know everybody's schedule. We just don't know what when they're playing and in what order. But we know who they're playing. But we don't have that 17th game. You know what would be interesting that that very first game, AFC and NFC, you, you don't change the end of it, you change the beginning of it. 
So then, I mean, still is going to come down to your division, you know. I mean, you, I mean, it doesn't have to be the first game, though. But Or maybe the first three weeks. Maybe that's the mix-up. But it, it, something different. That, sure. I mean, if you're going to add it. I wouldn't want it to be the last game of the season because right now the last mm-hmm. game of the season is you're playing every – you're the playing last a four division. Games. The yes. last game of the season for every team for like the last three or four years at least has been you're playing a division rival. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't, and I love I would that because a lot of times, how often does that be, come down to? Oh, it being for a division, for a uh, uh, a playoff position. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Niners to stop fan. somebody from getting. How many in. times have the Seahawks freaking broken my freaking heart? Absolutely, a freaking bone here. Oh yeah. Um, okay, but Marcus Mariota. Dude, there's going to be a lot of different things. I mean, we have a lot of coaching changes. There's going to be a lot. I th- still think that, is Dallas going to sign Dak? No. They're going to franchise tag. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to keep Garoppolo. I'm not happy about it. You guys don't think you, you don't want Mitchell Trubisky? No. Maybe. No, I don't. To be honest, no. Like, I want Deshaun Watson. Not happening. You want Nick Foles? Deshaun Watson. Nah. That's all I'm saying. That's all I want. Wow. The only other one that I was interested in was Stafford. And now he's going to be in our division against with the Rams. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not happy about that either. All right. So real quick before we go on, I have, I have a quick question for you. Sure. A lot of people have been talking about this because it was uh, Jordan's birthday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. He turned what fifty eight something. I think he turned fifty eight. So, who do you think is the greatest NFL player, MLB player? An NBA player. If you had to name one. Okay. Greatest football player of all time, Jim Brown. Oh, I have that on my list. I say Jerry uh, Rice. Uh, oh, boy. Me and you can have a conversation because he's not even the greatest receiver of all time, but that's for something else. Oh, that's man. for another day, another time, my friend. We're going to have to fill a lot of off-season Obviously, talk. everybody's going to... We gonna, can do that. Yeah, everybody's going to say Brady. I have Montana, Jim Brown, and Walter Payton. Okay. And, but I think but Jack, oh, you're I saying, Rice. hold on, but you're saying the greatest of all time in... And just football. So if you were to say the greatest... So, so you're talking about like Mount Rushmore type stuff? Like yeah. four? Because you get... I thought it was one. Oh, no, no. I'm saying one. But oh, I, yeah, Jim I, but I, I, I put it with... Uh, Jim Brown. Uh, for oh, basketball? Jesus, for hilarious. basketball? Okay. You know I'm going with... Brown, Brown. And I get the argument either way. I said it's not worth arguing. You're never going to change a Jordan guy. You're never going to change a LeBron guy. You're not going to get any conversions. It's like religion. I'm going to go with LeBron for basketball. My, I mean, you got Jordan, obviously LeBron. That's the that's the big thing. I mean, you can even throw Will, Oscar Robinson, Kobe, but Stop it. Jordan was Showtime. Like that was amazing. But LeBron is the best basketball player I've ever seen. Yep. He's all around. Agreed. So, okay. So, I agree with that. So, what about baseball? Uh, oh, I mean. Two of these are. Well, for me, I guess I would say, you know, because I can't. Babe Ruth. Okay. Pitch, Dan hit, I mean, home run king. And the one Black thing is, though, is that, that he game. never really played against. Blackman. Uh, like, they, like right. He, no, the, no, no. So I'm saying like wasn't like that wasn't a part of the league. Maybe, so and then different. I guess I'd probably go. Man, Hank Aaron, Ted Williams. I don't. I, it's hard with baseball to say who's the greatest baseball player of all time because it just has so much history, and there's so many different positions. I'd say my and, and this might be Nolan Ryan is the greatest baseball player of all time. There we and go. that was the toughest Munder ever. That's why I'm when going he with friggin' him. beat the crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Nolan Ryan. Robin Ventura. I have so many. Rest in peace. You remember those cookies you would buy and they would have the cards inside of them? Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. I have so many Nolan Ryan cards of that. But anyways, um, Willie Mays. You okay? I love Willie Mays, but the greatest hitter of all time. Barry Bonds. Yeah, I don't have a problem with Barry or with McGuire or any of those cats. It's, whatever happened. I love McGuire, but Barry Bonds was unreal. Yeah. I mean, even, from, even when he started with the Pirates, he was yeah. always a 30-30. So who's your, so you're saying Willie Mays? Willie Mays is my okay. name. I'll take that. And then, well, we covered all of them because we're not covering hockey. No. 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 Anyway, let's continue on. Okay, so let's, let's talk about... There was a huge contract signed. There was a huge contract signed How in do you, baseball. 
So 340 million over 14 years, right? Yeah. I, I think that's crazy. So how old are you going to be when that contract's up? Right. And, and what's going to happen in the next like six years? Well, he's really so good. Tatis Jr. Is, is, I mean, he's got paid. You can't blame the kid. Why would you want to leave San Diego? They're up and coming. That team, will have, two, that team will have two rebuilds before his contract's up. So, okay, so if in three years he wants to get traded, are you going to pull a full, like, Deshaun Watson against him? In three years? Did Deshaun do this three years after signing his no, contract? I'm, okay, so it, would months? you still feel the same way? So with, with our whole rant that we've been having for weeks, yeah. would you, if, if we were two years in instead of one year, would you feel differently? I don't. I, I guess circumstances are circumstances. Okay, so exactly. So again, so but I'm looking at Deshaun's. We're going to keep calling uh, this man, but we look at Deshaun's situation. It's not the same. If Tatis signed this now, and then by the end of the season was like, dog, I want out. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Right. I that's have 14 years. Yeah, I, that's I not it. four years. I get it. Right. So if in three years, so you're doing the same, pretty much close to math, that's... It's still because it's still three seasons. Uh, I, don't, I, don't care, I don't care about the way. length. It's about the money, dude. Friggin' the Padres just made a deal. They the, that's an amazing deal. The kids, the third highest paid, only behind um, Trout and uh, oh my gosh, what's his name from the Dodgers? Bauer. No, the shortstop. Mookie Betts. Yes, Mookie Betts. Well, how much is? Because Bauer's making, what, $40 million this season? He might be making more per season, but yeah. as far as the largest deal sign. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, either way, hey, congrats, man. You're now a quarter of a billion dollar man. Bro, I'll be 54 when this contract <laughs> expires. Man, who are you seriously in already? Like, yeah, that's interesting. 54. And then, uh, so, Tebow retired from baseball. Yeah, so this is a non-story, bro. All right, we can move forward then to uh, to basketball. Yes, thank you. Um, so, first off, Curry is killing it. Yeah, he I don't forget to shoot. He's gonna be. He did not forget how to shoot a basketball. That it's unbelievable. There's a lot of actually really good basketball being played right now. I love it. But and there's okay. a lot of trash basketball being played right now. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Cavaliers. There, that is true too. But <laughs> listen to this. If I was to tell you the 76ers, the Nets, and the Bucks are the top in the East, the Lakers in the West, that's always kind of a given. But you have the Clippers, and then the Utah Jazz have the number one record in the entire NBA right now. Yeah, they won 20 of 21. They're 24 of 5. Yeah. They've, they've won it's, 20 of the last 20. But you think of those teams? Yeah, I mean, Utah, we're, we're, yeah, when but... we grew up, like besides the Lakers, it really wasn't. Are we talking about because of the East? And yeah, but growing up, the Nets were still good when they were in New Jersey, when Jay Kidd, and before that, Kenny Anderson, uh, Jason and Kidd, Coleman, yeah. and all those cats, oh, you know. Yeah. But, they, I mean, they, yeah, I guess that's true. 76ers haven't been in a minute. 76ers, but they were. Bucks haven't been in a minute. Now, see, the Bucks weren't relevant our entire... Our entire... Tyler. Entire. Child, entire. Well, childhood, sir. Uh, because they, they just weren't. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, the Jazz were... They had them, you know, with Malone and, and Stockton. But it, it, they've been... Down and out for a while, but they they look. Dude, I don't know if you watch them, but they look good. Yeah, they, they can play. look good in the regular season. They will wilter in the playoffs. Lakers look good, Clippers look good, but I don't. AD's hurt. Yeah, AD re uh, injured his Achilles, so that's going to be interesting. But dude, I, I'm I'm saying right now, Curry's going to win MVP. He, do they have a comeback player of the year award in basketball like they do football? Because if they do, then sure. He could. I don't know. What's their record? Um, what like? Are they in the playoff hunt? They're just above five hundred. I think they're like three games over five hundred. So they are they in the playoff hunt? Though? Yeah, they're the seventh seed right now. Okay, okay. They'll make the they'll they'll squeak in. He'll the be playoffs, in the running for sure, and because it's such if, the if they make the playoffs, and he keeps doing what he's doing. He's going to win MVP unless somebody else shows up. Like Le LeBron looks good. I mean, there's a lot of players that are doing it, but it's I don't know, dude. Have you seen Trey Young? That boy is dropping shots for six feet behind the line, like consistently. 
Oh man, the kid needs to to get his uh, hair redone. But dude, it is terrible. <laughs> it is terrible coming from a bald guy to say <laughs> oh, that his God. hair looks like he's having a bunch of spiders having a meeting on top of your head. It's been since it's terrible. college. It's the worst. Like, bro, what happened? To Go you? get like, like LeBron and get the get the fill in. No, so, oh, and he just sprays that on. Him. LeBron needs to take an all season to go to where Erlacher and Deion Sanders went. Oh my gosh, dude, it's Deion's got a full head of hair. Hey, but the kid can shoot, and hey, he looks good. I like it. Suns. Where uh, Booker? Paul. They, they're not doing Look. it right. They're, they're they're they have the right recipe. But they're God, you not. Can't, you can't be up 24 at halftime to, to Brooklyn without KD and without Kyrie and lose that game. Well, but they did. The Phoenix Suns. Yeah. That's what they. Yeah. It, it is what it is. It's. All star game is changing. They're doing some different oh, things. Man. Right. So I, I, dunk I, contest and some skills challenge, but nowhere in there did I hear three point shootout, which makes no sense. I don't understand with what they're doing because none of the players are, are trying to do this, but yet Chris Paul, who's the uh, league president of the Player Association, wants it. LeBron doesn't. Who's the vice president or whatever? It, it, I don't know. I don't see if they don't want to do it. Why? You're already oh, pushing the games. Here's your breaking Western All Star starters name: Steph, Luka, oh. LeBron, Kawhi, and Jokic. LeBron's Jokic. captain for fourth straight All Star game. And Giannis. Eastern starters name: Kyrie, Bradley Beal, KD, Giannis, and Embiid. Durant was voted captain. Man, I don't. I, I Here's the thing. Watched, I, I don't care enough. It's the All Star care. game. It, I watch Saturday I night. I oh, with the yeah, family. We always TNT sit down. Saturday night. Yeah, we we always get down in front of the, the TV. We watch the skill show. We watch the three point contest, and then we always get yep. down on the dunk contest. Yep. And it's always that like kind of Agreed. fun thing. We get some popcorn out. <laughs> I will probably watch five minutes of an All Star game, and I think I've probably watched maybe twenty minutes in the last ten years of an All Star. game. Yeah, no, I don't uh, turn on the fourth quarter. Okay, maybe. It's I more care. exciting to see who's going to throw it off the backboard. Yeah, yeah. The dunk contest has always been, always been the thing. No, but in the game, like oh, the, the All Star, yeah, like that's all I care about. Nah, but I miss it back when it was. I miss it back when it was in the. Oh, I'm a sound, here's my old man. It sounds like an old man here, but I miss it in the '80s and '90s when those All Star, early '90s, when those All Star games were a competition because it was like, oh, now we're playing the best, of the best on the biggest stage. I'm not going to let you go by me and get an alley oop dunk or throw it off the backboard yourself. I'm going to put you on the ass. One of my favorite. Memories of the All Star Game that I do remember watching almost all of it was Kobe and jo and Jordan, right? And them going back and forth, and then like you see now the documentaries where Jordan's just like that boy ain't gonna give in. Yeah, no, he's like that number eight, like yeah, he ain't, he ain't, he's gonna keep doing it. Well, and that's, that's and, I love and, that. But you know what that is though? That's the smugness and the arrogance that is MJ, and that he knows that he patterned everything off of him, so he's going, he's paying a compliment to Kobe. While paying a compliment to himself, dude, Kobe even like he watched his interviews to how to I mean, talk. I mean, that sounds like something Russell Wilson would do. Hey, it, dude, two of the greatest basketball players ever. Either, either way, oh, 100 percent agreed, agreed. Yeah, that, that's I maybe mean, not like but, Kobe, but I respected him. I respected his game. Oh, I loved Kobe. Yeah, but I didn't like the Lakers. So my dog, my, our puppy yeah. now is we have Kaepernick and, and Kobe. Yeah, um, and that wouldn't have happened if that wouldn't have happened. No, no, I, I disagree with that. You think? He looked like a Kobe. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, you said the dog looked like a Kobe? Yeah. Okay. okay. Like, it, it, it felt right. And that we okay. brought up, like, I mean, we even brought up different names with the daughter. My daughter, Marley, and she picked Kobe. Okay. So, uh, another thing to kind of go on to the next, getting a little bit of golf. Happy Gilmore, 25 years. <laughs> that Did was you awesome. you see this? That was awesome. And then, Shooter McGavin. The response. the response. So, if you guys haven't seen this, I'm sure you guys have. Online, on any social media, you can see where... Adam Sandler, a.k.a. Happy Gilmore, goes out, sets the By camera himself. up. I haven't done this in 25 years. He's wearing the quintessential Adam Sandler polo Gilmore, shorts yeah. and basketball shoes. Runs up on it. Tees it up perfectly. Rips it. You can hear it. Oh, yeah. It sounds beautiful. Oh, yeah. And then he takes a shot at Shooter, and then he gives a signature line. It was great. It made me – I'm smiling right now. It made me it's smile. Hilarious. It was very awesome. And then for Shooter to come back and be in character was great. 
and then him to make the putt, and then to talk smack afterwards. And to him to be like in like a, like a oh, little fantastic. library. It was like, fantastic. It was just it was, it was such exactly a where you'd expect yes, shooter shoot. Gavin to be twenty five years later is exactly where he was. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, dude, that that was hilarious. It so, was awesome. That's that's our coverage of golf. Congratulations, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so you and I have been talking about this. I came up with this idea. It's called awesome. So O S M, old stubborn man. Yes. I want to talk about what makes you an old stubborn man because I have so many of these moments. We were talking I, about that earlier and you got some interesting ones. You want me to go first? Well, yeah. You know what I is like something that bugs me where I'm so stubborn on? Another man, unless you're going to the river, the beach, or the lake, you do not wear sandals or thongs to the store you're a man wear shoes wear boots i don't understand these guys that are walking around and friggin these thongs and these like little slip-ons hey, especially for, when they're wearing socks hey, so just... everybody needs to know what he's talking about when he says thongs yes he's talking the, about the you... flip-flops <laughs> yeah that flip you want to put your foot between man. just because it is 2021 we got some it's not it's allowed to be the way they want to be it's not a whale sail thank you okay well I'm, hey I'm, I'm talking about the sand we just need a clarification that drives me nuts and i don't know I'm, I, I, I'm stubborn i've worn vans and chucks for the last 20 years i wear dickies and i wear carhartt like i don't change any of that i'm not saying that there's different in fashion i don't know i just i crack up when i, I mean, see a grown man walking through the store just you crack me up with this because this is not one that i would think of and your reasoning is why? What if someone ran up on you and sat you in the face? What you gonna Dude, do? Where I grew up, like, it, it's a, that's a different thing. Like that's I something I just, where you in, never know. In, in all my years kid, of like, in all my years of walking this earth, I have never thought about man. What shoes I got on in case someone just runs up on me? That has are never you been. Kidding me? That has never been a thought in my entire life. Is hold up. <laughs> let me make sure uh, I have laces laces on because yes. if someone ran up on me and saw me, I'm not gonna get no traction. I can't run away. Criminals think this way. I, oh shit! I can't run away from the cops, so hey, I need to lace them up, dog. Everything is is already. Uh, we don't need to talk about past. That's, uh, yeah, I'm things. just saying. But I'm just saying that that where I man, that's so crazy to me that you wouldn't even think about that. Nah. Now, do I wear that out? No. But I'm saying I wouldn't think about it. I want a house shoes out. Like, I'll wear my slippers if I know I'm going through the drive Like, this morning, I went to oh, Dunkin' Donuts, no. got some coffee. I wore my slippers because I wasn't getting out of the car. No. But if I'm getting out of the car, I'm, you're a man. Hey, you don't you wear... Definitely, you definitely didn't need to see me coming out of the car, dropping my kids off two days ago, when Teresa caught me in the driveway in my browns uh, robe and my slippers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come back and drop the kids off of school. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Okay, now, now we have to get into the story. More so story. this guy and I, we've known each other for about 16 years. Something he like made fun of me one day when we used to work. We, uh, we worked in an uh, office building and my, I'm a tall guy. I'm six, five. My pants rode up a little bit so you could see my socks. Not he, a little he, bit. He comes up. Not a little bit. First like, off, not a little bit. It was okay. a lot. So almost to my shin, but whatever it was, maybe I pulled them up because they're tight. Like, it wasn't no, no whatever. No, no, no. I, either way, when I stood up, they, they weren't high waters. He starts saying, hey, you know, you're waiting for a flood. Yeah, so I was talking a little shit. So I come back at this dude. <laughs> it wasn't even five minutes later. No, no, no. It wasn't even five minutes later because I'm making fun of it and sat down because we sat by each other. So, right, it so was, we're across the aisle. So I'm talking that shit. I sit down to make fun of said shit. Pull my pant leg up to make fun of said shit. And look down and realize. Guess what? He's wearing his wife's socks. That are purple and, no, and like black, and purple flowers. black and purple flowers. But you couldn't tell all over them at in the middle of, in the darkness that was. For and his first excuse is just like, "Oh yeah, but it was dark." <laughs> like you're gonna come at me saying that my pants are bad, but yet you are wearing women's socks. Here's here's, here's the thing. No, it's there's still, no excuse. It still didn't negate the fact that your pants were too short. No, they weren't. It didn't. It didn't negate none of that. I looked like an ass. Hey, <laughs> I got my I got my karma back right <laughs> then and there. Yeah, yeah. No problem. But doesn't still 
Stop the fact that your pants were too short. No, they weren't. Anyways. We have we have plenty of stories that we'll give some little tidbits here and there. But uh because again, it's a long season, so yeah. uh long off season. So we'll still be doing this once a week. I need um, to know your stubborn man. I don't have one this week. It's been a pretty good mm -hmm. week. I have to really think you're about not, this. You're not, you're not, you didn't have a stubborn moment? Not this week. You're the most old <laughs> stubborn man I know. Yeah. I don't have anything. Okay. I really don't. All right. I really got to put some. That's fair enough. I because yours threw me off. I got to be honest. Yours threw me off. I could. I can't even contemplate a. The 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 feet thing is just really fucked. Nobody really, wants to see a grown. No, I understand feet. what you're Nobody saying. Nobody wants to see it. I understand you what you're saying, saying but it's just that's just an odd one to have. I'm just. It's that's something that was distilled in me. Look, when I was a kid. Here's what I'll say. Okay, you want one real quick. Cool. All right. This is from a long time ago because I don't know if it still matters because I don't know that people still s sag their jeans. I feel like people wear oh, yeah. people wear like belts or wear pants around their waist. A lot of people wear jeans that are too tight for them these days. So I don't know if a lot of people are. That's the other. Oh. I don't know if people were, or had, but at one time that really bothered me. Mostly because it was like you have a belt on. I was at a McDonald's. I remember, remember this. The... I was at a McDonald's. <laughs> Take my daughter, she's about three years uh, yes. old. Oh and she's God, playing dude. in the little playpen. I would not allow her to do that these days. But and she she's was. now 17? 19? Oh my gosh. So, yes. I'm having her do that. I'm sitting down. Again, McDonald's. You know, it, it was a dark time. Uh, filet of fish. Yep. Get ready to eat my filet of fish. And uh -oh. I look up, and I'm seeing hairy ass cheeks. Uh, yes. Uh, and this kid's probably 17, 18, 19 years old. Right. But he's got pants on with a belt. And yeah. that's the problem I'm having is you you have a belt. So I get up and I ask him very politely. I did not want to embarrass him. And I said, hey, can you pull your pants up? And he said, what? And I was like, I'm asking you to pull your pants up. I'm sitting right over there. And we looked. And I said, I'm sitting right there. She said, that's my sandwich. I go, I don't want to be staring at your hairy ass cheeks <laughs> when I'm eating my sandwich. So you got a belt. Does the belt work? Well, yeah. Then use it for what the fuck it's for. Well, what if I don't want to? Then you're gonna get strung up with that belt, dude. I remember all. So you can this either so put the fucking <laughs> belt on and pull your pants up, or we can step outside. And I really would not want to whoop your and, ass in front of my he, daughter. And he did it. And though. he did. And then his friend came over and sat down, and I heard him talking. And they looked back at me, and I had my hands I was like, like cheers, like yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, there's my old man. You moment. used to be I, I, yeah, such a little. Yeah, life dude. makes changes. I used to also be very heavy. I'm not as heavy. I used I, to have less hair. Now I have no hair. Used to sweat all over oh. the basketball. Oh, you would be the worst. But yeah, dude, dude yeah, dude, dude. There's gonna be so many different things. There's gonna be a lot of funny stories that we have for you guys. And yes, they are all true. Oh my gosh! But and that's have, that's a good one. That's, we have that's that can verify. One. And maybe what we'll do is when we go to sell one of those stories, we'll reach out to one of them, maybe get them on the line so they can oh. verify said. There's story. there's a it, Nate Wiggins. Do we have so many? Nate, we there's have so many, so it'll be fantastic. People. We'll throw them in and sprinkle yeah. in as we go. So next week we'll be back. Uh, there'll be more information for sports all the way across the board, and we'll fill in with what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. All right, dude. Hey, good show. Have a good one.